Hey, I'm Rob, and we're gonna check out this Riedel decanter horn. I have the Riedel horn decanter this week. It is made by the Riedel company over in Kufstein, Austria, and they are known for making very nice wine glasses and decanters and all sorts of glass items relating to wine drinking. So this is their 2014 model decanter. As you can see, it is made of clear glass with some black and yellow accent in there. This decanter is in the shape of a post horn because it was actually inspired by the post horn, which is kind of cool. Just kind of a brief overview of the body here. You see the mouthpiece inlet, and then it kind of tapers around, and then its biggest point is here, where the water is usually held when you fill it up, or wine, wine or water. And then as you go back towards what horn players would call the bell, but this is just the opening of the decanter, it kind of tapers off a little bit and becomes smaller, and it has a little bit of a lip here to help direct the liquid when you're uh, pouring it out. You're not really supposed to pour the liquid out of the small end. I think it's just the big end here. It's very beautiful. It's a little foggy because I've blown in it a bit. Absolutely stunning with the yellow and black accent. I think it looks really sharp. It is a multifunction item. It's a piece of art, it's decorative, it decants wine or any liquid, and it even plays some music. Now, before I go ahead and show how it plays, it came with a little info card here, and it says on the back, Dear Riedel customer, thank you for choosing this handmade Riedel decanter. It is one of a kind made by hand and blown by mouth with the greatest of skill and care. This unique functional piece of art has been crafted in Kufstein, Austria by highly talented master glassblowers. We congratulate you on making this choice and wish you many happy hours of enjoying and using this prestigious functional instrument. The mouthpiece inlet, you can see it's kind of shaped like a mouthpiece. It's significantly smaller. So I have this plastic one that I kind of melted a little bit to fit in here and actually fits really quite well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a listen. Ah. Something that I'm kind of interested in is you can actually fill it up with water and use it as a decanter, like mentioned before. So something that I'm curious to know about is what if you put some water in, in the bottom here, will it change the pitch? Let's get some water and find out. I'll be right back. Got my water. So that bottom section is about, don't know if you can tell, it's about halfway full and you can still blow air through it. You wouldn't be able to try this normally on any French horn because the normal horn is completely conical throughout. Whereas this one, it's conical. And then the biggest section is kind of here, about two thirds of the way through. And then the last third, it tapers off again, which helps pour whatever liquid. Let's try this out with water. pretty cool. It went from being major to being minor. Now, I don't know why the third was the only note that was dropped down a semitone. Could have to do with the frequency of the pitch and the actual sound waves and how they bounce around inside. I'm not sure. I don't really know enough physics, but it would be interesting to see what the sound waves do when it hits the water or when it penetrates the water. I'm pretty curious about that. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next week.